Okay, so today we are going to be learning about Boolean variables, well, more about Boolean variables, and about logic making decisions, like if statements and loops, uh, that kind of stuff. Okay, there's our main method. Let's start with boolean variables. Now we just touched on the subject a little bit. Uh, you know that a boolean variable can hold either true or false. And that's really all you guys have learned. Now, right here I'm going to teach you a little bit about the calculations. Uh, so, okay, let's begin. Boolean NT. Okay, the most simple calculation is not. So, you probably can guess what that is. Here, let me just start printing all this stuff out. This, the exclamation mark in Java, it means not. So, you can see not t, which is true, not true, gonna be false. Uh oh, uh, my computer. Uh... Oh, okay. True, false, false. So, NT is false. Alright. Um, how about and? Here, this is what I'll show you guys. T uh, and Now, the end symbol, uh, you don't have to put two, but it's standard practice, too. Um, that's the ampersand, if you're wondering. It actually calculates whether both of the variables are true. So this is actually going to return false, because since f is false, uh, then t and f are not true. Uh, this is the or symbol. Now, this little line there, uh, it might be kind of hard to find on your keyboard. It's on mine, it's the capital of the backslash. So it's above the backslash. Um, that's not an L or an I or anything. That's a special symbol. Uh, or, okay. Or, it's, if either one of them is true, then this whole system's true. And, if both of them are true, the whole system's true. So this is gonna be false, and this one's gonna be true. So. Okay, so, and it's false, and or it's true. Uh, okay. Now, you can also do this. You can use Boolean variables to discern differences in 
integers or doubles or other type of variables. So There's one, greater than. Uh, you see, it's just a simple calculation right there. Uh, uh, there's also a less than, and you can probably figure out how that works. There's a greater than or equal to. Uh, I'll just write all of them out right here. There's a greater than less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. Uh, there is also an equals. And if you've taken any type of math course, you, <laughs> you'll know what those mean. Uh, show you here, this is going to be true because, well, 5 is bigger than 3. True. Okay, uh, now you'll see if A was 3, this is actually going to evaluate to false. If you want that to be true, uh, this would have to be greater than or equal to. Uh, So, I guess you guys can see how all those would work. Um, you can group these just like any other. Uh, any other type of variable. So, A is greater than B, and A is greater than C. A is big S. Oh. Uh, that's going to be true. Since both of these are true. That's just another example of the and. See, I think I got that right. Yeah, there you go. It's true. Um, okay, that's just about it for Boolean variables. Alright, uh, now to put them to use. Uh, if statements. Now, this is where you actually take one of these true or false variables and you make a decision.